What is going on guys? Carlos here from Live Gaming Paradise. We are back again with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time we are doing the final Miskos Treasure of Awakening quest, which is part three now. Uh, to, in order to get here, you're going to need to do all of the other parts. I will leave them linked in the description so you guys know exactly where to come. But when you've done all of the first two parts, it's time for us to go and do the third one. So I'll return to this video and then we can start doing the third and final part and get the the, the complete uh, suit. So if this is the first time you're here, thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you're a member or a regular, thank you so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. Right, so you read in here that it will give you like some really vague tips to where the, the location of the, of the final one. This one was really crafty and it took me a while to work out a system of, on how to do it. So Miska's Treasure of Awakening part three is underway and uh, now all we need to do is select it on the adventure log and then go into the map and uh, we can uh, finally go to the final location and get all of the, the suits so we can try it on so the final location is going to be right here it's going to be the thundra plateau uh, we've been here before in breath of the wild if you've done breath of the wild uh, it's a very very uh, well-known location so lindos bro skyview tower is where we're going to go and uh, go into and then we can just glide down over to the Thundra Plateau uh, and uh, and start doing this quest. One tip, you can't do this quest or at least uh, not, not that I know of while it's raining so make sure that the rain goes away exactly like it is now and uh, it will be a sunny day so we can kind of like glide all the way down there because what we need to do we need to find a way of gluing things together in order to uh, cast a shadow on one of the pillars so you need to stand on one pillar and cast a shadow on another pillar and that's the only way that I could do this I did try it a few times so Thunder Plateau is in here now if your mini map is pointing north you need to go to the bottom pillar so the bottom pillar is going to be uh, the one on the on the right hand side in here here we go uh, there we go so this is going to be the bottom pillar so this is the south one and then you need to cast a shadow from this pillar here to the north I decided to just use some of my wing devices and uh, and get a, get it uh, much much easier I used five you don't need five you need four but just to be on the safe side I wanted to use five so I wouldn't have to repeat the quest multiple times I ended up doing the quest multiple times in order to record it but just didn't want to do them more than I needed to do them so once you've done that just pop them up against the, the south pillar and then you're going to climb all the way to the top and we're going to have to wait here in a specific uh, position until about 12 o'clock so midday so you need to hold it like these your wing devices and obviously now it's 850 but I sped up this part so you guys can see the shadow moving and when it gets to about uh, 1155 you'll see that it's touching the north one so at 12 o'clock it will trigger the quest and it will open the bottom um, onto the pit and then we can go and pick up the third and final piece of, uh, of our armor. So all we need to do now is just jump inside, see what's inside of the chest and uh, read the plaque as well to be congratulated by the Misko, the bandit that uh, we've managed to complete uh, all of these uh, all of these quests that he, he set out for us so when we get in here we just see what's inside of this chest and uh, it's going to be the mask the mask of awakening and as you can see it's a very familiar one we've seen this link before if you've played some of the old ones and that concludes the quest but I will try it out so you guys can see exactly what it looks like uh, and it looks quite funny actually and I did use it for another one of my videos I, I quite like it. it looks very cartoonish it doesn't even look like Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom it's so funny so I guess this is it for this one guys thank you very much for watching if you did like this video or if this video helped you please give us a like consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this I'll be back again with some more Tears of the Kingdom very very soon so thanks again for watching see you in the next one goodbye